Okay, so this video is going to take a look at how we do scorekeeping um, in a game, and this is just one example of a very uh, simplistic way of doing this. So in top left hand corner you see score is zero, and Zargon is right here, and every time he hits the right edge of the screen, we're going to give him one point. Okay, so it goes over here, and there it goes, one point. Okay, comes back, and here it goes again, boom, there's one point. Okay, and you can see every time he hits the right edge of the screen, one point. And there's a very simple scoring system. Okay, so let's look at how we might do that. So up at the top of the screen um, of, of your game code, you have a section called Defining Game Variables. One of the, vari one of the variables you're going to um, use to keep track of something is uh, one, in this case I call it a score. You might have one called Health or Strength or, um, you know, um, Virus Amount or uh, you know gold nugget value or in any word or a series of words um, with no spaces in between them that represent what you're trying to keep track of that represents the progress of a game in this case I just call it a score and um, in this case, it also starts at zero you might have health starting at 100 for example as its initial value okay so we now have a variable called score s-e-o-r-e which we can then manipulate during our game and we had said that anytime it hits the right hand edge at the right hand edge of the screen that it goes up by one now we already have that code um, that hit, that handles the hitting of the right hand edge of the screen we can sort of tack on to what we already have down there and so um, if, if we say okay every time Zargon hits that right edge of the screen why don't we increase the score by one the way we do that is this crazy command right here which says score equals and then the new value of score will be its current value plus one score equals score plus one kind of looks a little bit weird it's not really like algebra but it's algebra like in nature and this only happens when the x value of zargon exceeds the screen width okay um, currently if he goes off the left hand edge of the screen there's no penalty or there's no increase in score so right now um, if we run this we'll see what happens okay so there we are and there, whoa, there's nothing showing up, okay? It's working, we just are not displaying that value, okay? So, uh, if you want to display something on the screen, you're gonna go down to the bottom of your code where you're drawing things, okay? And um, after the last thing, after the last picture that you're drawing, remember we start, um, we, 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 we clear the screen, and we start from the furthest back to the furthest front, so the backgrounds and all the pictures, and then eventually any text you're going to display on the screen. Okay, so remember before we made some fonts? Um, I created a new font called Score Font up here, and it is up with my fonts, and I gave it a size of 44, and yes, true bold, and yes, true italics. Okay, and it's called Score Font. I'm going to use score font down here. The way that text is done, um, you are going to create a variable called text, and it will be the thing that we're going to display on the screen. So the entire phrase, your score is, and then tack on the value of the current value of the score. Don't worry so much about this command right here. What it means is, hey, take the numeric value of score, convert it to a string, and tack it on to this string of letters right here. And that makes your score is 20. And do that in white, please. Okay, and as long as you've defined the color, it'll work. Okay, and then part two of that command, these two work hand in hand, is we're actually going to blit that, and blit means put something on the screen, um, the text that we just created, and I would like it to show up at the coordinate 25, 20, 20. So let's see if that actually works. There is our text, here's Zargon moving. Yes, it hits the left edge and it hits the right edge, and every time it hits the right edge, it gets points. So there's a very simplistic way of doing scorekeeping. 